Joy. You're really quite the dancer, Felicia. <laughs> I'm learning that. Thanks, John. <laughs> Welcome back to the Jam on the U. 2018 is almost here, and that means you're making plans for New Year's Eve. No matter what you're doing, you have to check out Pat McGann's pre-taped New Year's Eve special, which airs on Sunday night at 9 p.m. right here on the U. Let's take a look at a clip. What year is it going to be? I forgot. What year is it right now? Who knows what year it is? Sorry. December. <laughs> Sometimes people will have a, a resolution going into the next year to make themselves a better person. Do you guys have any resolutions? Don't drink that much pop. Don't drink that much pop. You have a drinking problem? Yeah. Do you think you'll stay up till midnight this year? Yeah! yeah. Stay up till midnight, get wild. Sam, you do look wild. You look like, you look like a, a teamster. Are you in a, are you the union rep here? Yeah. And what do you do at midnight for New Year's? <laughs> do you think your mom and dad um, ever go out and party too hard? Yeah. Yeah? What happens when they party too hard? They drink too many pop. They get drunk. They do. <laughs> they get too crazy that they get too tired. And then the next day they don't want to get out of bed. The next day they don't want to get out of bed. You know what that's called? Hangover. Oh, that's really good stuff. By the way, Pat, do you have more than one shirt, or are you just really <laughs> showing off yeah, that one this outfit is, uh, every day? This is my, the, like those kids have uniforms. This is my uniform. <laughs> this is uh, what I wear. So you told us you have three kids. What crazy stories would your kids say about you guys? About us? Yeah. Are, well, my kids are just so young. They don't even. <laughs> They don't know what to hang around. She's a five-year-old. Yeah, she's coming around. She's starting to. <laughs> I always just act like we can't bring them anywhere. You right. Know? My wife also wants to do stuff like that they're not ready for. Like, let's go to the Art Institute. It's like, yeah. <laughs> They were just that's talking about how they want to see the some impressionist paintings. <laughs> oh my God, that's because you're on the road and she's at home and wants to do stuff. Yeah, that's true. Right yeah. now, you make me feel bad. Yeah. No, I'm just painting the other side no, of the I know, picture. I know. And the travel, the travel is a little much, but yeah. sometimes like one or two nights, I'm cool with it. Well, yeah. people are going to be in on New Year's Eve. It's going to be cold out there. What can people expect from the show if they're going to be watching? This the show? show is as Chicago as it gets in terms of like a New Year's show, right? Like it's not a countdown show. It's not about, you know, everything turning into midnight and that, you know, mm -hmm. culmination of counting it down. It's at nine o'clock, it's over at ten. It is <laughs> to go to bed. It is a lot of uh, <laughs> Chicago references. I got uh, a lot of Chicago comics involved in the project. Nice. And it has like a little bit of everything. Some some li it's pre taped, but you know, we did tape live. Mm -hmm. So there's some in studio pieces, but then there's some segments like that where we go out in the field, do some man on street stuff. Um, it's funny. I think it's funny. I'm excited about it. You know, we, we worked really hard on putting it together. And if people are in New Chicago and they like funny stuff, I think they'll enjoy the show. Well, you guys worked so hard on it too. Like I saw you guys running out of the office, pitching ideas. Yeah. Stuff. What was that like? I mean, normally stand up, you're kind of one. I mean, you work hard at it, but like, man, a pre tape show like that, it must have been a ton of work. It was a lot of work, but it was fun. Like, you know, I was working with a lot of friends and um, that made it a lot easier. And the resources we had here at the U were phenomenal. Like we had a a day where we shot with the Wienermobile, Oscar Mayer, and that's we didn't because even why use. Wouldn't you? And we didn't even use it. Like that's how much stuff we had, and then we had to like pare down it, into the hour show. So right. it was it was really cool. Well, we got another clip, and this one involves you working as a life coach on the pe oh, yeah. people people in the is, streets uh, of Chicago. Yeah, I go to Michigan Avenue just to encourage people, give them a boost. All yeah. right, let's take a look at this. Let's go. This is life. Let's go. Let's get after it. Oh, what are the white lines? What do you think they're here for? Get in them. That's why we have bikes, so we can just walk with them. Get on it. That's a lesson. Don't talk to strangers. How are you guys? What do you mean good? I'm a stranger. Don't talk to me. We just went over it. Don't walk over these. These could fall through. Don't walk on the vents. Are you out of your mind? Like the hands in the pocket. Maybe think of some gloves, though. Mittens. Don't do mittens, I'm kidding. Mittens are terrible. Can't give anyone the finger. No school today? Must be nice. Let's not block the intersection. You're trying not to, but you're not trying hard enough. Way to run on the busiest street in Chicago. My goodness. Special, special <laughs> advice. 
As someone that spends a lot of time like on such the street. such a jerk, don't I? Uh, you do sound like a jerk. I'm surprised. You go out there with a the camera, though. You can say what you kind of always want to say. I'm surprised you didn't get more F-bombs. <laughs> well, maybe you we got a few. We yeah. got a few. You were in the touristy section of yeah, Chicago. Right. They were nice. All right, we're going to cover a lot more of this because you're going to stick around. We're going to talk a little bit more in the next hour. But make sure you check out the Pat McGann pre-taped New Year's Eve special right here on The U at 9 p.m. on Sunday night. So do not miss that.